it's Liverpool five, Arsenal five in the Carabao Cup. Liverpool win five four on penalties. This is your match review. <laughs> So, Arsenal crash out of the Carabao Cup to Liverpool, as I predicted, as I expected. Now, what I did not expect was that shambles of a game from both defences. You could say some brilliant attacking goals, some some absolutely ludicrous goals from both teams. Um, some great football in half from both teams and some... Poor, poor, poor play from both teams. And I'm just going to dissect it as, as easy, as best as I can. Because that was... And I'm using help because I can't even remember what happened when. So, I have to just check because, yeah, it was a bit of a blur to me. Now, the reality is, uh, before I go into it, it's the Carabao Cup. So, I'm not going to really be too vexed about it. It's a competition we never, ever win. We got how many finals? We still can't win anyway. So, I can't lose my head. Um, and especially against Liverpool... Um, even though they played the youngsters, it's there's a there's a there's something going through that club right now where it's a never there's a never say die attitude. As bad as we were, um, it, there's a never say die attitude in that club, and you have to commend them for it. And it runs straight through from the first team to the to the subs. And you can say yeah, it's a it's a young Liverpool team. It is, but they obviously carry a level of never say die attitude throughout this squad. Um, and I said today was going to be a big test for their squad. Um, to see is, is it, does it really stack up against the other teams. Quality wise, I still say no. There's something lacking there, but heart wise, you can't. You know, you, you have to say that there, there's something about them that they they want to go through, and they want to please their manager. Um, and you can tell that it's just runs straight through the club, uh, from top to bottom. And so you might have to just give congratulations to Liverpool today, right? So first of all, my boy's free in it. My boy Mr. Ozil is free, and I talk. What did I say? I said free him once he once he reaches home. Once he reaches home, there's going to be a problem. Man of the match for me today, Mr. Ozil. He was absolutely brilliant, absolutely brilliant. He was running the show. Um, he got an assist for one of the goals, and he literally had his ha hand in most of the Arsenal goals today. Um, driving force behind behind um Arsenal's performance and the goals. So. Well done, well done, Ozil. I'm not, am I surprised? No. Is it, it's only Liverpool kids. Yeah, cool. It may not happen every week. Cool. But when, you, when you're a team that lacks creativity and you've got a man like Mr. Ozil that can create, one plus one equals two in it. So, board, Emery, I hope you learn from that today. Probably won't see him in the squad um, next week, but is what it is. Conceded early from Mustafi own goal. Are you surprised? Uh, cleared it with his try to clear it with his right foot. Went in off his left foot. Won the Liverpool. You think cool? One of those games going to be a long, 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 long evening. Turns out it was a long, 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 long evening, but in a different kind of way because we equalised through Torreira and it's a good little passing move. Probably one of our best moves of the match. We were kind of just passing it round and um, the ball came in. Uh, Eventually to Ozil, he played it to Maitland Niles. Good ball to him. Got it back. Played it to Saka. Saka shoots. Off the keeper, Torreira taps in. It's 1 1. Offside, definitely should have been ruled out, but there's no VAR in this competition, is what it is. Um, and then it was became the bit of a Martinelli show, really. Uh, two goals two goals for him in, the, in that first half. Um, he just looks lively. He looks hungry. He looks like he wants the ball. He wants to play up top. Apparently, he, it's not his most natural position, apparently. Um, but he's working up there, man. And he's working well. And, you know, you score two goals at Anfield. And regardless of what happened at the back, Emery has to look at him and say, I have to be... You have to be either become, like, the impact sub or you have to be starting games for Arsenal because in the Premier League because your performances outside of it in the League Cup and the, and the, and the um, Europa League has been phenomenal. So, you know, I mean... He became the I think the highest scoring teenager in the top five leagues, something like that. Uh, the top five clubs, I don't know something like that. So, you know, he's proven himself in in, in the competition, but 
yeah. Will he get chances? I don't know. Two great goals from him. But then he kind of messed it up. And it, it, it was probably part of, part of our downfall to why we lost this game, conceding before half-time. If we went into half-time at 3-1, chances are we could have just sealed the game. Especially as our bench was so strong as well. We could have sealed the game. But it, Martinelli clipped Elliot as he was running through in the area. Elliot goes down. Um, Milner converts the penalty. Some are saying it's a dive. Um, he, he exaggerated the fall, but he was clipped. And I feel like the way things are going at the moment, if you get clipped, the chances are referee's gonna gonna bring it for a penalty. Not all contact is pen is is a foul, but I seen them given, and 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 it was duly. You knew when Muna stepped up. Arsenal don't say penalties, so that was gonna go in. For t what's that? What were we on now? Three two, by half time. Still in our favour, but we're already at Anfield and um, anything can happen in this sort of game. Then we just saw a bit of brilliance, really. It was a mistake from Liverpool, um, pounced on, I think it was by Willock, can't remember. And it kind of fell out, uh, managed to get around the goalkeeper and it looked like it was going to be a tap-in for Ozil, but it was like the legs couldn't get there and the ball was kind of rolling out of play. What he done after that was superb and genius and magical from the wonderful Mesut Ozil. He flicked it around the defender and into Maitland-Niles' path. You saw Maitland-Niles there, there and it was there for tapping. And it just highlighted for me there what a majestical player this guy is. Um, and he needs to be he needs to be playing week in, week out. Or at least be in the squad. Um, for me, he deserves to be starting because there's no creativity in our team whatsoever. So, but... At least he needs to be part of the Arsenal squad. Um, Ox comes on with an absolutely bulldozer strike uh, to make it 4-2. It was a phenomenal goal from out of nowhere. I don't even know if you can put that down to defending. It was, there was, I think we did lose the ball and he just took one touch and bam, smashed it top bins. Can't blame Martinelli for that. It was a great goal. Um, after that, Divock Origi then... Scored a great goal to make it four, 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 yeah, four, four. Um, again, bit of brilliance, bit of magic from Divo Caridi. I think it was a good, it was a good goal, but Martinelli for me personally has to save it. There's a lot of power in it. Don't get me wrong, it was a good, good strike, but Martin, Martin, how's it Martinelli? Martinez has to save it for me. Has to save it. It was, a, it was a, a poor bit of goalkeeping, and I think he'll be disappointed with that. Um, people are saying he should be starting above Leno because his performance has been so good today. It's a little bit of a mark against him, really, because he just he yeah he's a poor it was a poor bit of goalkeeping and again moments like that if you, if Mar if Martinez makes that save we're four three up maybe we go on to score again maybe go on to win the game um, but uh, just want to pick up on something I think that happened just before that Mesut Özil came off Mesut Özil was subbed off. Um, and there was a lot of booze going around again for Arsenal fans. Second time in a row the game. It wasn't a lot, but I guess away from home, if you can hear it through the TV, it shows that there must be something there. So, and it wasn't aimed at the player this time. I think it was aimed at Emery for making a substitution to bring off, bringing off your best player in Meza Ozil. And it, it's, yeah, and I think really it started to cost us the game because he was our best player and... Maybe if fatigue hasn't played for a long time, uh, been out for a month, locked up for a month, um, and only just come home today. But for me, when your player is playing that good, and it's not injured, I and maybe Emery thinking I want I, he played so well I want to start him against Wolves on Sunday on Saturday, but. He, you don't even you don't you don't take him off. You leave him there to give your team momentum from him playing. People like him and Martinelli. You leave him on. I, I, I was expecting uh, Joe Willock to come off, um, but you know he, he left him on. Left he took him off. Brought on Guendouzi. It's not Guendouzi. Never a bad player to come on and, and do anything. But I think it was a ch it was bringing off Özil, which I think most Arsenal fans would not be happy with. I don't know if it would really have changed. I don't know. We did sit deep a lot more. And that's not Ozil's style to sit deep out. Maybe that was always the plan. But yeah, it just didn't work. It just didn't work uh, for me. Just, we just made it, it made us sit back more because the game we were 4-3-3. Three, three. 
Um, and Sabias came on and we didn't go to a 4 2 3 1. Again, went back to a 4 3 3 and we just sat and waited. Um, until a bit of brilliance from Joe Willock. He drove from the middle of the pitch, drove through, and arguably scored the best goal of the game, despite we just seen two goals in Liverpool. He absolutely pinged it, top bins. Pinged it, top bins. And it was a great goal. And from a goal worthy of winning the match, should I say. But Arsenal do what Arsenal do. And at no point in the game, even at 3-1 up, 4... Was it 4-1, 4-2 up? I'm never confident we were always going to wrap this up. Uh, and I literally tweeted during the game, our game, we have zero game management. We don't know how to close out a game. And at the point that Joe Willett scored for the next... Because he scored in the 70th minute. And for the next 30 minutes, it just felt... It's, it's, uh, next 20, 20, 25 minutes of stoppage time, it just felt like we were just waiting for Liverpool to score. And as it got closer and closer, our five minutes went up for stoppage time. You're thinking, all right, we may just get over the line. Let's just hold on, hold on, hold on. But no, what we do, we sit back, we sit back, we sit back, and we allow our teams to come on us. And Origi catches a shot with his shin, but it was just a good enough hit to go into the back of the net. And at the moment that he goes to penalties, you think, game done. Uh, because the the momentum's there with Liverpool. The players are happy, uh, on a high and I just saw, I just, I just knew that from then on that was the game, and it happened to be so. Some all penalties were pretty good, to be fair, from all teams. Danny Sabah's penalty was saved from the goalkeeper. It wasn't a bad penalty, but it was a good height for the keeper, uh, the youngster. Um, and and then the young, I think it was Jones who put him through. <sighs> and you know, there wasn't loads of individual errors. I don't think holding was bad today. Even though we conceded five, I don't think. I think Mustafi was awful for the first goal, but apart from that, he was okay. Bellerin didn't put much, didn't put a foot much of a foot wrong, and Kolasinac. But it was a whole team of game management that just fell off today. And at this level, you got to know how to see out a game. Um, and it's typical Arsenal to not do that, to not see out a game, and to essentially bottle it. I know it's a Carabao Cup. I know it's a, it's, a, it's, it's it doesn't mean nothing, and and I but I'm never that person to say before it's a Mickey Mouse Cup. It don't it don't mean nothing. It's a cup. The cup's a cup. A trophy's a trophy. You put it in the cabinet, keep it moving. But as I said, we never win the trophy anyway. So chances are we'll go to the final and bottle it as we normally do. We're out. We move on. Uh, Wolves is on the weekend, and then yeah, we got um Europa League. My boy Meza is free. That's all I wanted to see from today, really. My boy Mazit is free. He put in a performance worthy of winning the game, but then it got taken off and we didn't win the game. So, boy, Emery, man. Psh, keep Mazit in. Just keep Mazit in. That's all I, that's all I said. I'm out.